Hey guys, hope you all are doing well this evening. This is Lifestyle with Lisa. Thank you for stopping by my channel this evening. I really appreciate it. What I'm about to get ready and do is put my Jiffy Cornmeal mix and my Idaho Instant Potatoes inside of mason jars for long-term storage. Um, for the sake of this video, since I'm using one hand, um, I already opened up both of them so I wouldn't have to struggle on camera and also I already did one I did Jiffy cornmeal and I did um, Idaho instant potatoes these are the lids all clean and fresh and I dried them off on a clean paper towel overnight also you want to make sure your counter and your area where you're doing any food at is sterilized and clean well you don't want to get your family sick so again, this is for long-term storage. These are mason jars, 32 ounce jars. I have my bay leaves I'm gonna be putting in there when I get done and my oxygen absorbers. Also, I have this right here. I forgot what they call it, but if I find out, I'm gonna put it in the description. I got this from um, walmart.com two months ago. I also have a plastic clean knife and I will show you what I'm going to do with this in a few minutes. So let's get into the video y'all. Now my son, me and him was saying that for the Jiffy Cornmeal mix, since it's a 32 ounce jar and the Jiffy Corn mix is 8.5, we were saying three and a half and he was right three and a half when he did it. I mean, when we um, add it up. You don't want to overflow the jars either. Get one of these if you can. It's your best friend. Make sure you won't spill things everywhere. You don't want to waste food and spill it everywhere and have to clean up either. And another thing I forgot to tell you guys really quick. I'm trying to make sure all the mix is out the box. The Jiffy Cornmeal and the um, Instant Idaho Potatoes were in the freezer for a whole week. And I took them out and let them over um, unthaw for two days on the counter on top of a clean paper towel. I do that to kill any larva eggs, weevils, any type of bugs that happens during the process at the food center when they're processing your food, if you didn't know that, so. It also would kill it too if you don't wanna do that. Some people do it for, um, they do a second freeze, I only do one freeze. Also, you should be fine too if you don't wanna do it and you wanna skip this, you know, freezing process with your dry goods get you oxygen absorbers it should kill anything that's in your dry goods i do it to be on the safer side give myself a little bit more security so you don't want to overflow this again okay so what i'm about to do is take this use this in I do this to clear to get any bubbles that's in here or any chunks because I want to get as much inside this jar as I could so I really think that this is fine that is the Jiffy cornmeal rinse this out real quick don't want to set to terminate the food even though I don't think nothing would happen with the Jiffy Cornmeal mix in the instant potatoes anyway. But just to be on the safe side. Okay. Next. Again, this is a 32 ounce mason jar. And the instant mashed potatoes are four ounces. Now my son said about three packs 
but at first we said three packs and he stuck to three packs i said maybe four so this is my first pack this is my second pack and y'all store up and stock up on whatever you and your family likes you don't have to get what everybody else is getting everyone's family and taste buds are different okay that was three are we gonna make it looks like we're gonna make it to four Take this I already clamped out for you. Make sure no bubbles is in there. No chunks, even though it's no chunks inside of this instant mashed potatoes. So I was right. He stuck to three and I was right four instant mashed potatoes. And I can actually put a little bit more, but I'm not gonna overflow it. So if you enjoy videos like this, like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel, and I hope you all be safe and have a blessed evening. Talk to you later. Bye.